Hello, welcome. I'm Carol DeShane, your intuitive spiritual guide for practical matters and certified energy marconics recalibration practitioner. Thank you so much for joining me today. The question for you today is, are your expectations blocking your chance of success? Well, what I mean by that first is let's look at your expectations, where you are, so you can see if they're blocking you or not. So first, let's look at the different ways that you can expect things in your life. So maybe you expect great things to happen. So do you expect, no matter what else happens in life, that really great things are going to happen? Very few people are like this, but hopefully if you are, your life reflects that for you. Another thing you could be is maybe somewhere in the middle of the road where you, like most of us, you have things that are wonderful and things that aren't so wonderful. So you have, you hope for the best, but you expect once in a while things will go bad, but usually things are pretty much okay. Maybe not fabulous, but you do have a few fabulous moments too. Now, there are people that have lower expectations. They, they've had a tougher life and they, they don't see a whole lot of great stuff happening. Now, they still hope for the best, but they really don't expect it, but they don't really expect the worst either. Sometimes they're not too surprised to get it, but they don't really expect the worst. And then there are the people who say they have no expectations. If you have no expectations, probably you're lying to yourself or you have a different, let's put it this way, you have a different definition of what you mean by no expectations compared to other people. These are two totally opposites. There is no expectation as in I have absolutely no, I don't expect anything from anybody because they always are nasty to me. They're always awful. So really, I expect nothing from these people. They actually expect the worst. They don't even hope for the best. They just expect the worst. And so when they say they have no expectations for anybody, they pretty much expect people to not be there for them to not care for them, to not, they don't trust them to be the best them they can be because they don't attract those kind of people to them that will be wonderful to them. And so they've gotten to the point where they say, oh, again, no expectations of these people or of this job or of this place, whatever happens, happens. Then there are the very small percentage of people that say they have no expectations. And what they really mean is that they have no attachment to the outcome. They, there might be 1%, and this is a, a Carol percentage, not a scientific percentage, where they think that they have, you know, they expect whatever is supposed to be best for them. So something that you and I might think of as bad or as a difficult situation, they may say, no, it's just something I'm supposed to learn from. I'm okay with that. It's the best for them, the best learning experience, whether that means it's a fabulous thing or a little bit of a challenge. They have no attachment to that outcome. So they're okay with it. And they have a lot of peace and calmness about their personality. And you may find yourself drawn to these sorts of people. There are very few out there in the world, but they are. There are a few. So why do I bring up all of this? Well, first, you don't know if your expectation is blocking your success until you look at it. So where are you on that spectrum? Do you expect greatness or nothing? Do you have absolutely no expectations for anybody to do anything good for you? Or do you have kind of low, but yeah, sometimes people are great. Or where are you on that spectrum? And once you know that, you'll be able to look at that and say, okay, does this reflect my life? Does my life reflect the fact that I have low expectations? Do I have kind of a eh kind of life? where it's not fun, it's not uplifting, it's just, okay, I'm getting by. And if that's the case, if what your overall belief structure and your expectations are of what your success is going to look like in your life is eh, and your reality looks like that, that's great news because that means all you need to do is just turn the volume up just a percentage point or two on what you expect. And because the law of attraction says like attracts like, as soon as you ask for more and your expectations are more, it'll start making your life a little bit better. People will start adjusting to that and maybe 
treating you a little better, a little nicer. And when that starts happening, it's like a gold mine. You go, whoa, what happened? What did I do? And then so maybe you up the knob a little bit more after you're comfortable in that higher vibration of, whoa, what just happened here? So what you need to do is go ahead and just feel into it. See what's going on. See how your reality is. And then adjust your, your knob, so to speak, your, your uh, volume knob. So what happens if your expectations don't look like your reality? If you have high expectations and really a lot of garbage stuff is happening to you, what you consider, you know, bad things. Or what happens if you have lousy expectations and really low and all of a sudden all these great things happen? Usually it's the opposite. Usually you think things greater happen and they don't. So what's up with that? Well, it means there's a disconnect. You, you consciously believe something and you expect something, but subconsciously there's something there that's blocking you. And I talk about that all the time. But in this particular instance, if your expectations are higher than what you're getting, you need to look at each individual piece of your life, just sections of your life, so that you can see where the disconnect is. Because if you look at, for example, your health and your fitness level, you might go, oh, well, that's kind of what I expected. Things are going well there then it's not that piece that's disconnected. If it's your relationships and you look at each section of your different relationships, you'll look at your significant other or spouse and see, well, I expect them to be there for me. I expect them to love me. And if that's going well, then that's not a disconnect. So you move on to the next thing, children or neighbors or people you work with. And when you hit the boop, that's it. That's not quite, I thought, I expected those people that work with me or that maybe I have a business and they're my employees to be there, to treat me well, to, to work with me. And all of a sudden they're, or maybe not even all of a sudden, maybe it's been a while and they're just not, they don't have your best interests at heart. If it's your business or maybe if they're your, you know, fellow employees, they're talking behind your back or they're saying something, you're going, wait. I always expect the best from the people. How come it's not happening? Well, if you take that piece apart, if everything else is great, then this could be holding back your success. And if you look at it, you go, huh, how do I adjust this? Because this is the piece that's really holding me back. And if it's your success in your business, you can look at varying aspects of that, whether it's clients or whether it's in your employees or whether it's, you know, specific avenues, just money. Look at those different avenues and what you expect and what you're getting. And for example, if it's the people that are treating you wrong and you're going, I don't get it. What's happening? I expect it and they're not, like I was saying before. Well, perhaps when you start uncovering what's going on, just in that one instance, you'll remember a time, maybe when you first started doing work, where some fellow employee was kind of nasty to you and told you, well, you're so new. You don't deserve this job. That was my job. And you totally forgot about it. But maybe somewhere in your subconscious, it was like, oh, I'm not good enough for this job. I'm not good enough to have a place of maybe someplace. Maybe I feel like I'm not good enough for this position. Maybe if it's my own business, I feel like, oh, yeah, I don't know enough to be here. I don't know enough to have success. So perhaps that's the piece of the puzzle that you're missing, that belief that's underlying that you adopted somewhere along the line that you don't even know you adopted. And perhaps it'll be the kind of information that comes up that you go, I'm clearing out my closet. Let's get rid of the stuff that doesn't work. And that'll be one of those things that was sitting back in a corner, doesn't fit you anymore. And you go, oh, no brainer. Get rid of that. And if that's the case, It'll be easy to shift your expectation. But if it's one of those things that you go, you know, it used to fit me, it's got holes. But it's so comfortable. That belief pattern is so comfortable because I'm so used to it. Feeling like I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough is, is comfortable for me. Because if I didn't believe that, I'd have to go out and do more. Maybe I'd have no excuse not to be successful. So what am I going to do about that? Well, that's where the, everything starts knowing that you can shift and change. And it may require you going to someone to bounce ideas off of, maybe a friend or a minister or a life coach, or 
a therapist even, if you need to go super deep and really connect. But make sure that person will listen to you without judgment, that they'll be there for you and they'll listen to you because you'll need someone that'll do that for you. And that might just be one small piece of the puzzle. And then once that clicks into place where you shift that belief, it'll be like being in a new gear in your car. All of a sudden, off you'll go. And your expectations will get better and your reality, reality will get better and there you'll be with your life shifting. And you won't even know how and why that happened. Won't that be exciting? At some point, you'll be one of those people where your employees will say to you, wow, you know, you're the best boss I've ever had. I really like working here. Or if you have just someone will come up to you and say, you know, you bring out the best in me. I really like being your friend or your coworker. Or your employer will say, wow, you've really shifted. I've really enjoyed, you know, you're really doing well here. I don't know what happened, but wow, things are really going much better. So that's the thought for the day. And once that you hook in that new belief structure, so now your expectations match your reality. As I said before, keep up in that volume. Keep making what you expect a little more so that indeed everything will start just rolling along and being easier for you and better for you. Well, thank you so much for listening today. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more of this. I'm Carol Deshane. And if you would like to learn more about me or have a free download on five steps to effortless quantum leaps, your business and your life, please check out my website at www.connect to joy.com which will be below this video and it's connect the number two joy.com you'll find all sorts of information there on success and prosperity coaching and marconics energy no touch sessions and recalibration ascension sessions as well thank you so much until next time bye